by the time you are watching this video definitely you will be aware of uh, what exactly the 5G technology is uh, at least the basics of it but uh, definitely we will see the impact of 5G right the 5G technology to the IoT technology currently the IoT technology is uh, one of the mainstream technology where there are a lot of advancements going on and definitely the uh, introduction of uh, 5G to these uh, different type of IoT technologies uh, will definitely have the impact uh, and we will see what exactly the impacts will be and uh, like why the 5G is more discussed in today's world is uh, definitely it is being introduced in most of the countries uh, starting from US, China, India, South Korea, UK, Spain, Canada, Australia and uh, to name exactly like it is around uh, uh, introduced uh, in 72 different countries uh, and across uh, around uh, 1900 plus cities as well and uh, China and USA are currently leading with the introduction of uh, more introduction to more number of cities and definitely it is uh, uh, been expanding to uh, different countries in uh, and uh, different uh, uh, cities as well and uh, in future uh, there is no surprise if it comes to a tier, tier 2 cities and also uh, village areas and uh, once it is uh, deep rooted to these uh, cities uh, tier 2 cities and also villages uh, definitely it will revolution revolutionize the things uh, because uh, of the speed with uh, speed and the uh, uh, latency that it, it gives us right so definitely it will have a huge impact there is no doubt about it but uh, what exactly that impact and how we can see the future uh, uh, by using the 5g or introducing the 5g in iot technologies So like before going to the actual topic, right? So let us uh, uh, take a quick uh, one step back and see what exactly the 5G technology, what are the what are the G's here, right? So the G's are like nothing but uh, we are called it as a generations. So first generation, second generation, and currently we have reached uh, like a fifth generation where we, we are calling it as a 5G. So as you can see, it started on uh, 1980, which is like an analog related uh, voice uh, signal transfer where we call it as a first generation 1G. And later in point, uh, there is a 2G, what, what we introduced, it, it got introduced where uh, we call it as a CDMA. It's based on the CDMA. It's uh, actually a protocol in networking. If you're interested in networking, you can uh, go back and uh, do some research on that. And early in 20, uh, like at, uh, 2000, uh, so 3G brought into mobile data. So basically here is when uh, the internet uh, started booming up right so uh, till uh, i think uh, till 3g uh, or 4g right so iot uh, was not into a picture because uh, there is no uh, data transfer right mobile data the, there is no internet basically uh, which uh, being introduced in the mobile devices or any devices so after 3g and 4g this is where uh, the iot started uh, introducing and uh, so we, we because uh, uh, mobile data or any devices start getting the internet right so that is where uh, uh, iot people started thinking about iot and investing in iot so that's where the iot technology grew we can say and then in 2010 uh, definitely a 4g uh, lte uh, like uh, came into picture and uh, mobile broadband also came into picture where we see a very a good amount of uh, speed, internet speed uh, in terms of uh, data transfer and internet usage so and so on and uh, here is where the iot has uh, grown a lot right so there is a lot of investment and there is a lot of advancement in the iot technologies and it's been already implemented uh, in uh, many different uh, sectors right? and uh, with the introduction of 5g so like 5g is nothing but uh, it has used all the technologies it's a com combination of all these technologies and it is a full pack uh, next generation technology that can be uh, that, that is more capable uh, air interface that means uh, it is a wireless connectivity so that's where uh, it is more powerful in terms of uh, uh, the data transfer also and also how it is uh, more flexible to use and uh, like if you're not sure about what uh, what is more i mean what, what exactly the 5g is right a 5g has been designed with an extended capability to enable next generation user experience so what is next generation user experience right so user is already experiencing uh, like uh, uh, videos or uh, the technology tra data transfer that we are getting right but uh, to the go to the next level like a user will be able to kind of uh, 
interact with machines uh, in much more efficient way and uh, he can utilize the 3d uh, kind of animations so like virtual reality kind of a uh, user experience uh, uh, and also uh, utilize uh, many iot devices uh, kind of autonomous driven cars uh, so that is where we call it as a next generation user experience and it also empowers a new development model and deliver a new services definitely so uh, there will be a different uh, deployment models if you go in the deep in tec technical aspect of 5g so uh, i have to deliver the new services what we are uh, i mean uh, what 5g is uh, meant to provide and what is more in 5g so definitely we might have used uh, already a 4g technologies but uh, how how better or uh, how faster or uh, how exactly uh, the 5g is a differentiator first point uh, i mean uh, it's quite obvious that 5, 5g is a significantly uh, definitely faster than 4g or uh, any, any other older generations and uh, 5g has more capacity so this is important right so capacity in in terms of uh, like the data transfer the bandwidth right so 5g is definitely having a good bandwidth where it can push and pull the data from from mind to basically and uh, has also significantly lower latency than uh, 5g what is latency quickly if you talk about a uh, latency in terms of a networking right so latency is nothing but the amount of time that is spent uh, to send your message or your uh, data from one point point a to point b so definitely the lower latency means the faster the data transfer right and uh, 5g is a unified platform that is more capable than 4g definitely and uh, 5g uses a spec spectrum better than 4g and uh, spectrum is nothing but it is a kind of a radio frequency where you uh, it will range from like uh, 6 gigahertz uh, uh, to like 24 gigahertz and above basically so that is the range uh, that is being provided uh, to communicate so that range uh, the spectrum range will definitely be more uh, for 5g so that's where uh, it will be more reliable than uh, the previous services or the previous generations so moving to the next slide where we will discuss more about the iot right so we have already understood what is a 5G. Now let us quickly understand what is IoT. So uh, as uh, you might be knowing that IoT is nothing but an Internet of technol Internet of Things, right? Basically, like uh, there will be different. Uh, I mean, by the definition only, you can understand that there are different things. Things are nothing but uh, it may be devices or network. Uh, so that will be co connected uh, using Internet. So the I mean, if you break the break the word only, you will be able to understand the definition here. And uh, so basically it uh, simply it means that there might be a devices or a set of devices which are connected to an internet basically so that this is very important so there should be a connection to internet or else the IOT doesn't happen right so there should be a connection to internet and having capability like sensor sensors uh, processing and software cap capabilities and also dispatching and receiving uh, of uh, data capabilities right uh, with these capabilities, uh, definitely a device will be able to communicate uh, what exactly it is processing or what exactly it is having the statistics of any kind of uh, machines or any kind of uh, devices that it is capturing for and uh, further connect to the devices or the network or the internet. Basically, there will be different devices and each devices will be connected to each other. Basically, if you see a device one and device two, these do, these two are communicating and also there might be a like a internet here so this is a network right so this device might be connected to this network and uh, this ne network that there can be a multiple networks also which are communicating internally basically it might be a device to device connection or device to network connection where uh, they are interacting with each other and uh, so there will be some sensors some software so some uh, processing is happening here okay and further based on all this uh, processing uh, it will be able to send the data to the uh, different uh, uh, network or the devices so let us take a quick example right suppose uh, you are uh, having a manufacturing uh, unit where uh, you, will, you will be having the different machineries so each machineries will be uh, kind of having different sensor like a temperature sensor sensor heat sensor pressure sensor right so all these uh, statistics will be captured, processed, and uh, they will be sent to the different devices and also the network. So based on uh, certain uh, decisions uh, th th this device will do, it can communicate back to the uh, device uh, saying uh, to interrupt the service because uh, it has uh, reached some uh, point where it might be a 
hazardous to that uh, particular device and it can intervene and stop the device uh, tell the device or uh, suggest the device to stop working so this is where uh, it's a it's a best example uh, where we can see in the industry or or uh, any manufacturing sector similarly you can uh, implement uh, the things in agriculture military healthcare automobile and manufacturing and home automation and uh, as you as you can see like uh, uh, most of you might be using like uh, amazon alexa or kind of a home automation uh, already devices where uh, you will be able to kind of a uh, switch off switch on uh, your devices if, if it is if they are not in use and you can also smart monitor them how they are utilizing their electricity and uh, the power right and also the energy management definitely energy management uh, where uh, if the energy is how to uh, uh, maximize uh, the utilization of energy in different uh, like it might be during manufacturing it might be during uh, uh, transmission or it might be during actual uh, supply right so this is what uh, we call it as the internet of things so internet things internet of things is not a new thing so it is uh, actually uh, well existing and it's already implemented and use uh, is is in use uh, by many uh, uh, many of the industries that, that like we have mentioned and they are widely using it but uh, in this uh, video we will discuss how it can uh, go to the next level using the 5g technology so next step i mean the next immediate thing what will happen technical so this is a technical impact uh, what we will be uh, discussing here so technical impact so definitely the low latency and ex expanded network mean uh, 5g can reach uh, 10 times more than the device per square kilometer than 4g so this is just uh, some uh, some statistics they are uh, giving so it, it can reach 10 times more than what 4g was able to do that so this is with respect to the latency and next uh, it will be like uh, improved speed uh, are 10 times faster than the 4g so it is like a 10x speed and also 10x uh, uh, improvement in lat latency straight right so this is the technical impact and uh, now we will see what exactly it will uh, push uh, uh, I mean the, on the different uh, things right so definitely it will uh, push on prediction and uh, discussion ongoing mainly on the cost and value basically when we talk about cost and value so there are two uh, aspects uh, cost and uh, cost is different and value is definitely different so cost means first thing how, how are you going to implement uh, different devices uh, to kind of a different network different devices uh, and introduce introduction of 5g can uh, uh, cost you some amount amount right to kind of uh, operate it uh, also you need some amount so that will give you the i mean that the cost that is uh, you have to bear and the other cost is uh, you will also get the benefit back so that is the value that you are getting back right so you need to see the proportion i mean the, the investment and the return basically it is the return on investment you need to calculate here and transformation definitely the transformation of networks and systems uh, would need some time and uh, so this is uh, it, it will push uh, this uh, area as well and also it will definitely transform the entire eco, eco space and uh, uh, like uh, also the economy basically this is like a not an immediate impact i would say it would take around two to three years uh, to actually show up some difference and also more investment on smart grids and energy management uh, so this is very very important because uh, all the countries are moving towards a renewable energy and net zero energy so that is a reason so this can push a lot of investment in this area definitely there are different areas uh, that we can think about but uh, I personally feel so this is an area where there will be a lot of investments uh, uh, going to happen with, uh, with the introduction of 5G in the IoT technologies. And uh, reliable uh, real-time control system. So this is also very good uh, use case of where you can see like if you're having, if you're having a defense or uh, like a mission critical systems uh, where you want to intervene immediately because of some uh, uh, things right maybe uh, you are like uh, operating a surgery uh, as a doctor or you might be operating a, a robot in the defense system or you might be operating uh, airlines uh, uh, bots right so in that case uh, definitely you need uh, you need to intervene at a right time uh, so real time controlling the system is quite very very important in that aspect and uh, going to the next uh, slide uh, like here we will summarize and see how exactly the future will look like so what we call it is a 5g 
uh, future which will be implementing uh, in the iot technology and how exactly the future might look like so definitely these are the these are not the new points i mean uh, that 5g is giving us but uh, these are like uh, before 5g uh, these are like uh, we would say in the experimental phase but by, with the introduction of 5g so there is there will be a lot of uh, implement i mean the uh, investment to kind of uh, implement it not only test it but implement in the real time scenarios so let's uh, take one by one right uh, doctors can treat a patient in rural areas remotely basically if you are uh, uh, think about a scenario where uh, you can perform the remote surgeries so this technology is already there but uh, introduction of 5g can uh, help uh, uh, a lot because of the its capabilities right so this is a very mission critical thing that uh, any doctor can do and a small failure or small interruption can uh, cause a lot of uh, damages right and uh, worker present in multimedia rich presentation so even this uh, people are using it but uh, since now it is like a without interruption right so the, so that uh, it will be very useful for the uh, uh, i mean the workers to work from anywhere in the world right and uh, as you know uh, there are like lot of investment in autonomous car and electric cars uh, so uh, especially the autonomous car can send uh, and receive the data very quicker and reduce the kind of accidents uh, and also uh, use uh, like a features in a better way like a parking feature or a traffic signal feature it can use uh, these technologies in the better uh, these features in the better way and uh, also the smart grids where uh, we can talk about maybe any grids right maybe uh, where the power is getting generated maybe uh, windmills uh, maybe coal energy or uh, uh, turbines whatever we, we th th think about right whatever grids we can call so this can eliminate i mean uh, both the brown and blackouts brown and blackouts is nothing but brown is nothing but uh, some small interruptions in the power or electricity and a blackout is nothing but a complete uh, down of electricity in a particular city or a country and a smart city implementation uh, as we are moving towards a, a better utilization of the resources and uh, implementing those in multiple cities and we call them, them as a smart cities so definitely we can implement uh, the 5g technology in uh, iot devices uh, to kind of uh, manage traffic uh, crime uh, street lights and garbage management etc and uh, mission critical devices and vehicle in defense and mining so these are the other applications but the most important uh, thing what we would see is uh, definitely the more investment will happen in the renewable uh, kind of uh, sources and also uh, to better manage the energy so the energy management is a most uh, key challenge uh, in the coming days so we would expect uh, more countries uh, participation in uh, using of 5g technology in kind of uh, investing uh, the 5G, 5g technology and i implementing that with the iot technology to kind of uh, save uh, energy or uh, bring more renewable uh, kind of uh, energies into the ecosystem and uh, definitely it will help uh, both uh, the country that is implementing it and also the entire earth ecosystem right so hope uh, this was uh, useful and also we can uh, we can see here uh, with the with the use of a technology we can definitely help uh, or we can definitely help grow uh, the aspiration uh, basically towards uh, bringing the net zero kind of uh, plans uh, for the different countries and uh, hope uh, by uh, 2040 or 2050 we will be uh, going to reach reach uh, the net zero target uh, and uh, we see lot of lot of less pollution so hope this was useful and thanks for watching